everything lit and y'all love when it's hot. Yeah. Harry Potter. We back. We back. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> Who's the Prisoner of Azkaban? Anybody know? Put it in the comments. By the time you put it in the comments, I'm already seeing the movie. So, it wouldn't matter. That's the trick. That's the trick. How's Armani doing? Armani has been my favorite character, I'm not going to lie. I know it's called Harry Potter. I love Armani to death. That's, that's the kind of, because she know everything, you know, she always taking care of business. Armani kind of like the gangster in a way, at the click. You got the silly person, you got Harry Potter, then you got the gangster, which is Armani. Oculus <laughs> Fixo. What is it called? Oculus Repero. <laughs> I had to use that because my camera lens had broke. So I ended up needing the Oculus Repero, and it worked. We strapped in, y'all. Load up, we got Harry Potter. Hit that bell. Hit that bell next to the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel first. Sus subscribe to the channel first. Hit that bell next to the subscribe button. It'll let you know when we're bringing that heat. We flying in with it this time. We flying in with the heat. You made it this far, smash that like button. You didn't want to smash it, fly to the like button. Fly away from it. Harry Potter. What you got, man? Put that there for Quidditch. When the Quidditch games come. I think that's what it's called. Quidditch? Lumos Maximus, what's going on with that uh that spell or whip it tr <laughs> Hurry, hurry. <laughs> yeah, biter. I don't like this family, guys. I'm sorry. Later perhaps if you behave. You're still here, are you? Yes. Say yes in that ungrateful way. Shut up. He'd have been straight into an orphanage if he'd been dumped on my doorstep, really. <laughs> well, that's why he wasn't dumped on your doorstep, lady, and I don't like your hair. That's a boy. Mm. Harry always got to do all the slave work. This ain't fair. Other dude don't have to do nothing. That's why he chubby. What are you smirking at? Where is it you send the boy, Vernon? St. Brutus's. It's a fine institution for hopeless cases. They use a cane at St. Brutus's, boy? Yeah, I've, I've been beaten loads of times. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> it's all to do with blood. Bad blood will out. Lady, put the wine down and get the hell out of my house. He didn't work. He was, he was unemployed. And a drunk, too, no doubt. That's a lie. What did you say? My dad wasn't a drunk. Oh, shit, Harry! Have a very firm grip. <laughs> no, no, Harry's about to have a very firm grip on your ass, lady. Don't talk about his dad. If there's something wrong with the bitch, then there's something wrong with the pup. Shut up! Oh, hell is you talking to? Get your ass the fuck up out of here. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me tell you. Oh, shit, Harry! <laughs> Harry, chill! <laughs> Don't talk about my mama and daddy, lady. <laughs> 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 
She looked like Mrs. Puff off of SpongeBob. See you later. Go talk about somebody else's parents. <laughs> Harry, okay, let her down before they get hurt. Harry. That's what you get, lady. That's what you get. Come up in here talking about my parents again. <laughs> Run, Harry. Pissed off. You bring her back! You bring her back now and you put her right! No. She no. deserves what she got. No! Oh, yes. oh, well. You've nowhere to go. I don't care. Anywhere's better than here. Exactly. I'd rather live on the street than live here with you. What they call them? Uh, mud bloods. Sorry for the cuss word. I don't look like a safe place, Harry. Gotta find somewhere a little more safer than that. Look, now the light wanna go out. Harry, run. <laughs> Pull your wind out. Do something. Yeah. Where the hell did this button just come from? <laughs> what? He gone, Harry. Get on the bus. Get up out of there. <laughs> what you looking at? <laughs> You sure you don't need help, buddy? What the hell of a bus is this? They got beds, chandelier. It's a, it's a dope bus. Take it away, Ernie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a bumpy ride. They got an African head. Whoa. What did you say your name was again? I didn't. Hey, if you have the pea soup, make sure you eat it before it eats you. <laughs> I like the African head. <laughs> a Jamaican. Muggles, they don't see nothing, do they? No, but if you jab them with a fork, they feel. <laughs> Bro, this guy can drive the hell out this bus. Three and a half, two, one and three quarters. Yeah! That man. Who is that? That is serious black, that is. How did he escape? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Nobody know. He was a big supporter of you know who. Reckon you've heard of him? Yeah. No, oh, I ain't heard. I didn't, haven't heard of him. I don't know who they're talking about. Who who the heck is Harry talking about? I ain't heard of none of these guys. <laughs> Ernie, they're right on top of us. Mind your head. Guys, why the long faces? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this one hell of a bus. I need to get I, now. If buses were like this, I would catch the bus more often. Harry, you need to strap yourself in, man. <laughs> Harry, where the heck did you got yourself at? Room 11. Headway. Right, smart bird you got there, man. Oh, it's Al. Did just five minutes before yourself. <laughs> Earlier this evening, your uncle's sister was located a little south of Sheffield, certain chimney stack. The accidental magic reversal department was dispatched immediately. Oh, well, well, I'm good, man. We have a killer on the loose. Serious Black, you mean? But what's he got to do with me? Uh, uh, nothing, of course. You're safe, and that's what matters. And tomorrow you'll be on your way back. Oh, uh, these are your new school books. I took the liberty of having them brought here for you. Now, Tom will show you to your room. This is all happening. Fact, damn, Tom, yanking Harry up. Chill out. <laughs> hey, Harry, whilst you're here, it would be best if you didn't wander. This guy seems suspicious. He's worried about Harry's safety. 
it seems like more than anything. So what's going on, Harry? This this prisoner might be after you and you only for a special reason. <laughs> and the uh, minister knows. What the <laughs> what type of book is this, man? He just trying to read. <laughs> Are you taking the shoe off? <laughs> he had to stop. I'll come back later. Please come back later. <laughs> it's a little bitty. I'm warning you, Hermione. Keep that bloody beast of yours away from Scabbers, or I'll turn it into a tea cozy. It's a cat, Ronald. What do you expect? I hear Hermione. Cat? Is that what they told you? Looks more like a pig with hair, if you ask me. That's rich, coming from the owner of that smelly old shoe brush. Harry. Harry. Harry's back. The squad is back together. That quick. Harry, wonder if I might have a word. Yeah, sure. I wonder if they about to travel by that diagonally. Diagonally. <laughs> Hopefully Harry got his speech together now. Harry, there are some within the ministry who would strongly discourage me from divulging what I'm about to reveal to you. But I think that you need to know the facts. You are in danger. I knew it. I just said that earlier. I knew it. What do you know about Sirius Black, Harry? Only that he's escaped from Azkaban. Do you know why? No. <laughs> when you stopped Voldemort, don't say his name. Black lost everything, but to this day he still remains a faithful servant. Ah. Uh, so he escaped out of jail to come get Harry to try to get Voldemort back if he kills Harry. Yeah. Kill you, Harry. Sorry. You won't go looking for Black. Why would I go looking for someone who wants to kill me? That's a good question. <laughs> Harry, stay safe. I knew it from when the minister was talking to him. Like, he seemed a little on edge. I was lucky not to be expelled. I think I was lucky not to be arrested, actually. <laughs> Who do you think that is? Professor R.J. Lupin. You know everything. How is it she knows everything? It's on a suitcase. Because her name is Armani, man. She knew everything, every spell, all of it. I've got to tell you something. Let me get this straight. Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban to come after you. Yeah. But they'll catch Black, won't they? No one's ever broken out of Azkaban before, and he's a murderous, raving lunatic. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ron. Way to ease up the situation. What's going on? Dunno. Maybe we've broken down. Broken down? Now all the lights going off. I'll be scared as heck. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not good with lights cutting out. Get your hand off the window, man, before it gets stuck. Bloody hell. What's happening? Bloody hell. <laughs> that sounded funny. The prisoner, dude. <laughs> Sucking the life out of Harry. Armani, do something. <laughs> Who the hell was this guy? He came in and saved the day. What in the world? Oh, this is just dream, Harry. Here, eat this. It'll help. It's all right. It's chocolate. Oh, it wasn't a dream. It was a Dementor, one of the guards of Azkaban. It's gone now. He was searching the train for Sirius Black. Excuse me, I need to have a little word with the driver. Well, so why did he come after Harry if he was searching for Sirius Black? He's trying to suck the life out of Harry. Leave my boy alone, man. Damn. Well, you sort of went rigid. We thought maybe you were having a fit or something. And did either of you two pass out? I felt weird though. Like I'd never be cheerful again. Oh, so. Someone was screaming. A woman. No one was screaming, Harry. 
So they didn't hear or see none of this stuff Harry saw. Harry the only one who seen it. <laughs> Harry, they think you're crazy, like always. <laughs> they have frogs with them. They sound good though. They sound really good. Now, I'd like to say a few words before we all become too befuddled by our excellent feast. First, I'm pleased to welcome Professor R.J. Lupin, who's kindly consented to fill the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. I like Professor. He saved Harry. Of course. That's why he needed to give me the chocolate, Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Is it true you fainted? You actually fainted. Shove off, Malfoy. <laughs> Malfoy got, he, he look a little older. He got even golden hair now. I'm delighted to announce that his place will be taken by none other than our own Rubius Hagrid. My boy, Big Hag. Big Hag Hagrid <laughs> knocked the whole dang on stage over. <laughs> At the request of the Ministry of Magic, Hogwarts will, until further notice, play host to the Dementors of Azkaban. The Dementors will be stationed at every entrance to the grounds. Now, whilst I've been assured that their presence will not disrupt our day-to-day -day activities, Dementors are vicious creatures. They will not distinguish between the one they hunt and the one who gets in their way. Give them no reason to harm you. Why would we do that? <laughs> Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. Turn the light on. When darkness arrives, light is the key. You know, when you're scared of the dark at home, turn the light on. Or get a night light. I have a night light. I'm not as afraid to say I don't like the dark. It's just not me. <laughs> Here, listen. She just won't let me in. Fortuna Major. What is this? <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh... Lady! You cheated. She cheated. She cheated. <laughs> oh. Oh. You just walk through a ghost. Do not give me one again. <laughs> oh. 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 Mine turned me into a dog. Okay. <laughs> Fun is almost over, guys. Damn. <laughs> what the you shall discover if you possess the sight. <laughs> Look at the cup. I don't want to see. Well, Harry. Uh, this lady is crazy. I don't know if I would take this class next semester. <laughs> I want to be in a different class. What the? You're gonna suffer, mm -hmm. but you're gonna be happy about it. Give me the cup. Oh! Oh! Uh, Lady, what the hell? Armani looks pissed. <laughs> you have the Grim. The Grim? It's among the darkest omens in our world. It's an omen of death. Goddamn, Harry got the Grim. Harry can't catch a break. Wow. Use your inner eye to see the <laughs> I might think that teacher's a joke. <laughs> I would hate to have one of those books. I had to beat my book up. Hey, I'm trying to read. Shut up, Malfoy. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, Harry got some nuts now. Malfoy taller than Harry too. Demental, demental. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, kick his ass, Harry. Harry, kick his ass. Isn't he beautiful? What the heck? Hagrid. Exactly what is that? Right. <laughs> First thing you want to know about hippogriffs is that they're very proud creatures. Very easily offended. Now, who'd like to come and say hello? <laughs> I don't want to say nothing to this animal. I don't even know what it is. It's like a bird and a wolf. Come on now. Leave it to Harry. 
have to let him make the first move. It's only polite. So, step up, give him a nice bow, then you wait and see if he bows back. And if he does, you can go and touch him. If not, get away. Well, we'll get to that later. <laughs> nice and low. Here, go, 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 here, go, 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 go. Keep still. Keep still. Oh, well done, Hart. Okay, I was a little nervous. Hagger had me a little nervous. I'm going keep still. Hagger, get this damn animal under control. <laughs> He's such a jerk, man. Not so fast, Harry. Harry, slow down. <laughs> you got our money. Oh, God. Slow down. Yes. Uh. Who's next? I think he may let you ride him now. You can ride him. Oh, I need me a uh, a paralysis. What they call him? That's dope. I'll be scared as hell though. Harry, you can just fall off. Man, I want to go to Hogwarts. It's they school way better than my school was. I ain't get to do none of this stuff in school. I'm jealous. Look at this. This is dope. Lion! That's gay! That's what we doing, Harry. <laughs> yeah, get your hands down. It's your first time riding this thing. Don't try to do too much. After seeing that, I would want to go next. If I was any of these kids, I want to go next. I want to go next. That was dope. That was dope. Please. Oh, man, boy, you sucker. I don't think the bird gonna like him because he's a punk. <laughs> yes, you're not dangerous at all, are you? You great ugly brute. Malfoy. Malfoy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that bird wasn't gonna like him. Oh, you silly creature. Oh, that's killed me. It's killed me. He should have. He has to be taken to the hospital. I'm the teacher, I'll do it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, now he's like, oh, uh, but you are a big tough guy. You're a big tough guy. You got hit by a ch uh, flying wolf chicken. I don't know what this is. You shouldn't have stumped him, bird. He likes Harry. Does it hurt terribly, Draco? These dead people be having a whole bunch of fun at Hogwarts. I'm into Madame Pomfrey. Another minute or two and I uh, could have lost my arm. Listen to the idiot. Right! He's really laying it on thick, isn't he? Please. <laughs> Intriguing, isn't it? What's in this thing? That's a bogger, that is. Very good, Mr. Tom. I don't know what that is. Boggarts are shapeshifters. When she get here. <laughs> That's what makes them so. So terrifying. <laughs> a very simple charm exists to repel a boggart. Let's practice it now. Uh, without wands, please. Okay. After me. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Very clear. Listen. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This class is ridiculous. Very good. Well, That's why your arm broke now. Uh, Neville, will you join me, please? Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> Neville, what frightens you most of all? Professor Snape. Professor, <laughs> professor Snape? A professor? <laughs> and I believe you live with your grandmother. Yes, but I don't want that boggart to turn into her either. <laughs> <laughs> she carries a red handbag. You don't need to hear. As long as you see it, we'll see it. Now, when I open that wardrobe, here's what I want you to do. Imagine the boggart in a grand... Oh, wait, professor in the grandmother's clothes. My biggest fear is mice. I can't deal with mice. I'm so scared of them. Concentrate. Here's your fear. Be ready. Ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> 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 
They got the dang on spider on skates. <laughs> that was good, bro. That looks scary too. <laughs> What's Harry's biggest fear? This should be interesting. Nothing's changing. Ridiculous! Turn it into a balloon. Harry, what the heck type of fear is you guys? <laughs> Harry couldn't even do right, his. Sorry about that. Uh, that's enough for today. If you'd all like to collect your books from the back of the class, that's the end of the lesson. Thank you. Oh, Harry. He ruined it for everybody else. No permission form signed, no visiting the village. That's the rule, Potter. All those with permission. Oh. That's my final word. Potter, she can't sign it. See you later. Mm. I know it has to suck. I had uh, had that happen before. I didn't get a permission slip slide and I couldn't go with the field trip. It sucks, Harry. I understand what you're feeling right now. You want to know why I stopped you facing that boggart? I would have thought it would be obvious. I assumed it would take the shape of Lord Voldemort. Before I fainted, I heard something. A woman screaming. Our Dementors force us to relive our very worst memory. Our pain becomes their power. I think it was my mother the night she was murdered. You know, the very first time I saw you, Harry, I recognized you immediately by your eyes. They're your mother, Lily's. So he knew Harry's mother. He knew Harry's mother. Yes, I knew her. Yeah. How? How? Your mother was there for me at a time when no one else was. Not only was she a singularly gifted witch, she was also an uncommonly kind woman. Look at Harry, he look happy. And your father, James, on the other hand, he, uh, he had a certain, shall we say, talent for trouble. <laughs> That's how it usually works. The angels always want to get with the troublemakers. Why does it work like that? You're more like them than you know, Harry. I'm seeing it already. <laughs> Harry always getting into trouble. He can't catch a break. And he's a great guy. Mom, Dad. The fat lady, she's gone. So is her right. She was a terrible singer. It's not funny, Mom. And they ripped the picture up, too. <laughs> Headmaster looked like, what the hell? I've seen this before. <laughs> Mr. Filch, round up the ghosts. Tell them to search every painting in the castle to find the fat lady. <laughs> He's here! Somewhere in the castle! Sirius Black! <laughs> <laughs> Sirius Black is in the building. Sirius Black is in the building. Harry Potter, be careful. Armani, stay by his side, shoot. <laughs> He done put the fat lady, the fat lady, I can call her that, that's what they call her. He put the fat lady at the zoo. He got her scared as hell. Remarkable feat, don't you think? To enter Hogwarts Castle on one's own, completely undetected. Yeah, he got out of, he, he escaped Azkaban, so I guess he can get in Hogwarts. He's a special person. Prior to the start of term, I did express concern. Potter, should he be warned? Perhaps, but for now, let him sleep. Let him swim in the deepest ocean or glide over the highest cloud. I hope you know Harry can hear you, buddy. He's not asleep. He's scaring the hell out of him right now. Turn to page 394. Okay, geez. He came in so aggressively. <laughs> Turn to page 300, y'all. This guy's not playing. Where's Professor Lupin? That's not really your concern, is it, Potter? Suffice it to say that your professor finds himself incapable of teaching at the present time. Werewolves? When did she come in? Did you see her come in? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he keep asking when Armani come in? So maybe she is doing two classes at once. An animagus is a wizard who elects to turn into an animal. A werewolf has no choice. With mm. each full moon, when he transforms, he no longer remembers who he is. He'd kill his best friend if he crossed his path. Furthermore, the werewolf only responds to the call of its own kind. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that boy is irritating. Are you incapable of restraining yourself, or do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? He's got a point, you know. Five points from Gryffindor. <laughs> she does know too much. It's Quidditch tomorrow. Then I suggest you take extra care, Mr. Potter. Sir! Page 394. Okay, 394, but we got Quidditch tomorrow. I got the Nimbus 15 ready to load up. 
We ready to get to the games. Well, there's several ways to become a werewolf. So Harry Potter getting struck by lightning. <laughs> Dang, they playing Quidditch in the rain? <laughs> it's a serious sport. It's lightning and everything. Eric, get him! <laughs> this is a dangerous sport. Quidditch is a dangerous sport, man. A wolf. <laughs> That's one of those things, Harry. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Harry got driving skills on that damn Nimbus. No way he gonna survive that. Arresto momentum. He woke up. He made it. Dude, Harry is a strong mother jammer. Well, you fell off your broom, really. I meant the match who won. He's still worried about who won. He don't even care about himself no more. The Dementors aren't supposed to come inside the grounds. Dumbledore was furious. As soon as he saved you, he sent them straight off. Something else you should know too, Harry. Um, when you fell, your broom, it, it sort of blew into the Whomping Willow and... Oh, the Nimbus. Is there no time to fix it? I got it. You can use my 15, Harry. It don't go as fast, but... The Dementors are amongst the foulest creatures to walk this earth. The Dementors affect you most of all because there are true horrors in your past. You have nothing to be ashamed of. So basically, Harry had a harder life than anybody for real, so that's why the Dementors mess with him more than anybody else. You could teach me. You made that Dementor on the train go away. There was only one that... But as the Dementors seem to have developed a particular interest in you, perhaps I should teach you. <laughs> yeah. For now, I need to rest. He just went from great sunny weather to straight snow. What the heck? Let me go. Oh, clever, Harry. But not clever enough. Besides, we've got a better way. <laughs> Harry tried to sneak through the snow in the invisible cloak. What are you doing? <laughs> What's this rubbish? <laughs> What's this rubbish, she says. That there is the secret to our success. Your needs are greater than ours. George, if you will. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Messrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs are proud to present the Marauder's map. We own so much. The heck is this y'all gave Harry? I'm confused. Is that really Dumbledore? Any steady pacing does that a lot. Wait a minute. Everyone, where they are, what they're doing, every minute of every day. That's not a good thing to do. It's like the government. There are seven secret passageways out of the castle. We'd recommend this, this one. The one-eyed witch passageway. It'll lead you straight to Honeyduke's cellar. Be best hurry. Oh, and Harry, don't forget, when you're done, just to give it a tap and say, Mischief managed. Otherwise, anyone can read it. Hmm. So they gave Harry <laughs> the key <laughs> to their success. How do these guys get a hold of that anyway? To know where everybody's at every step of the way? That's kind of weird. I wouldn't want to, you know. That's, I got to get me an invisibility cloak. I'm sorry. I'm going to find one on the market somewhere. Anybody know where to get them? Let me know. Do you want to move a bit closer? Huh? To the Shrieking Shack. Oh, oh actually, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine here. Yeah, I'm good too. You two shopping for your new dream home? Don't your family sleep in a uh, one room? Shut your mouth, mouthful. Right, man. I was like, bro. Filthy little mudblood. You kick his ass. Man, Armani, put a spell on him or something, dude. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> superiors, huh? These are supposed to be my superiors, punks. <laughs> oh, Malfoy, the first one running. He's a wimp for real. He'd be the toughest acting ones that's the wimps. That was not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> 
They deserved it. I hope business is good. It'd be a lot better if the ministry wasn't sending dementors into my pub every other night. The mentors trying to get drinks now? They drink? <laughs> and what would bring him here? Harry Potter. Harry done snuck into the bar. What in the world? Now, tell me what this is all about. Well, when Harry Potter's parents realized they were marked for death, mm -hmm. few knew where they were. One who did was Sirius Black. And he told you know who. Not only who. He also killed one of their friends, Peter Pettigrew. Always trailing after Sirius Black. I remember him. Never let James and Sirius. Harry, Harry's. What happened? Well, Peter Pettigrew tried to warn the Potters and might have managed to had he not run into an old friend, mm -hmm. Sirius Black. Black was vicious. He didn't kill. He destroyed it. Mm -hmm. Torture him. A finger. That's all was left, a finger. Nothing else. Yes. So Sirius Black is the reason that the Potter's parents Sirius are dead. Voldemort didn't really... And remains to this day. Harry Potter's godfather. Sirius Black is Harry Potter's godfather? Sirius Black dated Harry Potter's mom? <laughs> what the heck is really going on? I'm a little thrown off now. Harry hurt. He was their friend, and he betrayed them. Mm. He was their friend! Okay, Harry! When he does, I'm gonna kill him. He pissed Harry off. <laughs> okay, so he was their friend. He didn't date Harry's mom. He was their friend, and they made him the godfather, and he betrayed them. Why did he betray them? <laughs> what did they do? They seemed like pretty good people. Although I don't know them or never seen them. Now, the spell I'm going to try to teach you is called the Patronus Charm. Did you ever hear of it? The Patronus is a kind of positive force, and for the wizard who can conjure one, it works something like a shield with a Dementor feeding on it. You need to think of a memory. Not just any memory, a very happy memory, a very powerful memory. He got a lot of those. He got a lot of big memories in his head. <laughs> then speak the incantation, Expecto Patronum. Expecto Patrono. Shall we? Wand is ready. Wand up. Expecto Patronum. He said it wrong. Expecto Patrono. Deep breaths. Those things are serious. That would have been remarkable. Here, eat this. You'll feel better. That's one nasty Dementor. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a boggart, Harry. A boggart. The real thing would be worse. Much, much worse. As a matter of interest, what were you thinking? The first time I rode a broom. Uh? <laughs> There's another. It's not happy, exactly. Well, it is. It's the happiest I've ever felt. But it's complicated. Is it strong? Then let's give it a try. You feel ready? Right back at it. <laughs> Just woke up, ate a piece of chocolate, right back at it. Expecto Patronum! <gasps> Do your thing then, Harry! Do your thing then, Harry! Expecto Patrona his ass! Expecto Patrono his ass! Yeah. Well done. <laughs> I think I've had enough. Yeah, take a break. Take a break. You deserve it. You deserve it. Eat some chocolate. I think you would have given your father a run for his money. And that is saying something. I was thinking of him and Mum, seeing their faces. They were talking to me. That's the memory I chose. Oh, parents. That has to be deep. Anybody out there never met their parents before? That's deep stuff. Like, I can't imagine that feeling. What are you talking about? Ronald has lost his rat. Your cat killed him. Rubbish. Well, maybe you should learn to take better care of your pets. Ron lost his dang on Miles. Cat got it. Garfield. <laughs> Lucius Malfoy got that. Well, you can imagine, he said. Buckbeak was a deadly and dangerous creature who would kill you as soon as look at you. Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. Oh, Hagrid look hurt by that, too. It's gonna be okay, Big Hag. Spiders, they want me to tap dance. I don't want... <laughs> Tell those spiders wrong. Ron had a bad dream. <laughs> spiders want him to tap dance. What type of dream is you having, Ron? Black was vicious. He didn't kill Petty. He destroyed it. 
Harry, what you up to, man? Put that light out. Put the <laughs> talking pictures. I need to get a couple of those up on the wall so I can have somebody to talk to, you know, daily. What the? He moving quick, Harry. <laughs> Here he ran. You gotta go catch him. I'm sleepwalking. <laughs> Good excuse. <laughs> Strutting about the castle. My dad didn't strut, and nor do I. Now, if you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you could lower your wand. Damn, Harry. Turn out your pockets. What's this? Bare bit of parchment. Really? Open it. Reveal your secrets. Read it. Is that what it? Messrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs offer their compliments to Professor Snape <laughs> and request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. Why, you insolent. <laughs> Harry, don't get kicked up. Then don't get kicked out up. For a little walk. In the moonlight, are we? All right. That remains to be seen. I have just now confiscated a rather curious artifact from Mr. Potter. Take a look, Lupin. It looks to me as though it's merely a parchment designed to insult anyone who tries to read it. It's, <laughs> nevertheless, I should investigate any hidden qualities it may possess. Mm. Harry, would you come with me, please? Yeah. Professor, good night, man. Put the wine down. Now, I haven't the faintest idea, Harry, how this map came to be in your possession. Quite frankly, I am astounded that you didn't hand it in. Did it never occur to you that this, in the hands of Sirius Black, is a map to you? Mmm. You know, your father never set much store by the rules either, but he and your mother gave their lives to save your... And gambling their sacrifice by wandering around the castle unprotected with a killer on the loose seems to me a pretty poor way to repay them. He's pissed at Harry. I want you to return to your dormitory and stay there. And don't take any detours if you do. Oh, no, he gonna know. He know how to work the paper, too. <laughs> Just so you know, I don't think that map always works. Earlier on, it showed someone in the castle, someone I know to be dead. Oh, really? And who might that be? Peter Pettigrew. That's not possible. It's Just what I saw. He did see Peter walking around up in there. <laughs> he ran right by him. I only then can you see. Ron, wake up, man. You're in class. <laughs> Your soul as dry as the pages of the books to which you so despair. Armani thinks this lady is full of crap. <laughs> Hand off me, lady. Money. You didn't have to do all of that. Have I said something? Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Harry, just go. Anytime they play weird music, just start running away from stuff. It's always something happen. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Tonight, he'll betray his friends whose heart rots with murder. He reunited once more. <laughs> what the heck was that? What? I'm so sorry, dear boy. Did you say something? Uh, no, you said something, lady. <laughs> Harry, go warn everybody, dude. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Weird. Oh, so they're gonna kill Bug Beat because he hit Malfoy. I didn't. I forgot all about that. You foul and loathe them evil little cockroach! Hermione! Hermione yeah. up the dang on him! It's not worth it. No, yes he is. Malfoy is a punk for real. Look at him! Hermione <laughs> oh. <laughs> is the gangster, I told y'all! She's the not thug! Good. Brilliant. It's brilliant. Armani is a gangster. She punched that boy. Harry, you should have punched him. Scabbard. 
Panthers. You're alive. Oh, he got the mouth. Blimey, who's that? Ow. Ain't <laughs> somebody throwing rocks. What? I thought I just saw. Look at Buck B. Oh. Buck B. That's a weird name, but it's, it's a cool animal. They really about to chop Buck head off. I never seen anyone chasing a mouse <laughs> before. I saw mice making people run away, not run with them. Harry, I'm hiding, run! The grip! <laughs> what the? It's coming after run! Ah, oh! Ah. Damn wolf swoop, run! Oh! Ron gone? Move. Damn this tree! Ron sound like he being tortured. Hurry up, y'all. Where y'all wands at? It's a trap. He's a dog. He's an animal. Yes. Want to kill Harry? You'll have to kill us too. No. Our money. You know. He ran up on him and started choking him! <laughs> Harry was ready. Harry was about that life. Oh my goodness. Finally, the flesh reflects the madness within. Well, you'd know all about the madness within, wouldn't you, Remus? <laughs> what the? I understand. Let's kill him! No! I trusted you! And all this time, he they working together. He's a werewolf. That's why he's been missing classes. Wow. Well, 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 Hermione, you really are the brightest witch of your age I've ever met. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Let's kill him. Wait, I did my waiting. Twelve years of it. This guy has been helping Harry Potter. Why he didn't just kill him? You know, I'm confused. Harry has the right to know why. I know why. You betrayed my parents. And somebody did betray your parents. Who was it then? Peter Pettigrew. Mmm. Come on, come on, Peter! <laughs> What's going on? I hope so. I'd be the one to catch you, Severus. Once again, you put your keen and penetrating mind to the task, and as usual, come to the wrong conclusion. Give me a reason. Take his neck off. They trying to kill Harry Potter. I could do it, you know. Do I detect a flicker of fear? Uh, yes. Take his neck off, Professor! After you. Expelliarmus! Harry! You hit the wrong one, Harry! Yeah! Pettigrew's dead. You killed him! No, he didn't. I thought so too until you mentioned seeing Pettigrew on the map. You're rat! The rat? He's missing a toe, isn't he? So what? So Ronald Reasley's pet is Thomas Pettigrew. <laughs> Give me the Scappers! What are you doing? Oh yeah, he should have stayed the rat. He looked better as a rat. My old friend. <laughs> this is some trippy stuff, y'all. Ron has been taking care of a grown man this whole time. You sold James and Lily to Voldemort, didn't you? I didn't mean to. What would you have done? I would have died. I would have died rather than betray my friend. James wouldn't have wanted to be killed. He was showing me mercy. No, man. You got my people. You got my parents killed. It's no mercy. This man. I know what he is, but we'll take him to the castle. Bless you. Harry. Get off. Don't touch me. After that, the Dementors can have you. <laughs> so the prisoner of Azkaban actually is on Harry's side. That's a twist. It was a rat. It was Ron's rat that was a snitch the whole time. Well, he's a rat. He turned into the right thing. He's a rat, snitch. So, huh? They, uh, they might chop him. 
<laughs> Ron, they're not gonna chop your leg off. It'll have to be chopped off. <laughs> he said it'll have to be chopped off. No, it won't. I'll never forget the first time I walked through those doors. It'll be nice to do it again as a free man. That was a noble thing you did back there. He doesn't deserve it. Well, I just didn't think my dad would have wanted his two best friends to become killers. He didn't want them to become killers, so he saved their life at the same time. When you were born, James and Lily made me your godfather. I know. But if you ever wanted a different home... What? Where are you going to go stay in Azkaban with you? That's just a thought I can understand if you don't want to. Harry! He was my old friend. Have you taken your potion tonight? What the heck is going on? He turned into a wolf. Oh no, he got the wand. Oh. Harry quick with it. He got away. Hey, y'all, run. Professor Lupin. It's getting real up here. Oh! They fighting each other. Y'all best friends, man. Come on now. What the? Darius. Harry, what the heck? What the, what? What's really going on? He injured. Oh, he turned back into a man. <laughs> no. Oh, dang on pine just froze up. Dementors. Damn, they everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, he got the Patronum shield up. There's too many of them, though, Harry. What are those things doing? Sucking the life out of them slowly? His spirit. <laughs> yeah, get up out of here. I don't know what that is, but... <gasps> Gave him his life back. What the heck was that? Harry done passed out at least three or four times this movie. What's going on with his equilibrium? <laughs> he stressed out. I know he was stressed out at the end of recording this movie. Gotta keep passing out, going through all of this crap. Please believe us. I do, Miss Granger. But I'm sorry to say the word of three 13-year-old wizards will convince few others. Sucks to be a kid sometimes when it comes to being convincing. Nobody believes you. It's meaningless oh. to those who've forgotten how to listen. Mysterious thing, time. Powerful, and when meddled with, dangerous. You know the laws, Miss Granger. You must not be seen, and you would do well, I feel, to return before this last chime. If not, the consequences are too ghastly to discuss. If you succeed tonight, more than one innocent life may be spared. Three turns should do anything. Three turns should do anything. What is he talking about? I find retracing my steps to be a wise place to begin. Good luck. So he knows something. He's trying to tell them something. Yeah, he's trying to tell them something without telling them. What in the world are they doing? One, two, three. It's a time machine. They're going back in time. That's fire. This is how I've been getting to my lessons all year. I knew it. Dumbledore obviously wanted us to return to this moment. Don't change that. Get great punch. <laughs> Don't change that. Remember what Dumbledore said. If we succeed, more than one innocent life could be spared. They got to spare Buckbeat. They got to stop Buckbeat from uh, getting his head chopped off. That that would be a good thing to do. <laughs> That's Pettigrew. Harry, you can't. Look at Harry. You betrayed my parents. You don't expect me to just sit here. Harry, chill. You got to follow the plan, Harry. Can't let anger get the best of you. 
So she was there were warn they were warning themselves and didn't even know it. Boom. Yeah. That's crazy. Ow. He still felt it. <laughs> this is where she thought she heard something at. This is where she thought she heard something. Buck me, come on, man. He trying to save your head. Professor Dibbett had that ling planted when he was headmaster. Oh, yes, indeed, indeed. They don't even see him. Guys. But where is it? He's gone. No, someone's obviously released. Buck me, quit being greedy. Save some for later. We must search the ground. Well, search the skies if you must, Minister. I'd like a nice cup of tea or a large brandy. <laughs> Your services are no longer required. Bye, Executioner. Give me some brandy. Give me some brandy. A couple things of ice, too. <laughs> okay, so they managed to save Buckbeat. You see Sirius talking to me there? Mm -hmm. He's asking me to come and live with him. That's great. When we free him, I'll never have to go back to the Dursleys. Yeah, because I don't want him to go back to the Dursleys anyway. I hate that family. This is probably where Harry Howe, Harry Howe, to save him own self. This is crazy, y'all. What are you doing? Saving your life. Yeah. Oh. Well, Armani saved Harry's life. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, crap. Watch your backs. Watch your backs. He see y'all. <laughs> Buck beat helping. Don't play with Buck beat. Buck beat a beach ass. <laughs> Good stuff, Buck. My dad will come. He'll come to the Patronus. Where's your dad at, Harry? <laughs> Harry, do something. He's not coming. Expecto Patronum! So Harry saved himself. Damn, Harry's strong as hell. Yeah, Harry, that boy is strong than a mother jammer. Lit the whole block up. Expecto Patrono, man. Quit playing with her. It wasn't my dad I saw earlier. It was <laughs> Yeah. I knew I could do it this time because, well, I'd already done it. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> you got oh, some help. Damn. He looking like I escaped from Azkaban, I just escaped from Hogwarts. <laughs> two for two. I'm um, two for two this movie. <laughs> you look so like your father. <laughs> Except your eyes. That's your mother's. Yeah. My mother's. Yeah. Yeah. It's cruel that I got to spend so much time with James and Lily and you so little. The ones that love us never really leave us. And you can always find them in here. Where you count the most? Where count the most, Harry? You really are the brightest witch of your age. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> She's super bright, over bright for her age. She's smarter than some of the teachers. Uh oh. Well? He's free. We did it. Did what? Good night. He don't remember. Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything's back. Did you get there? I was talking to you there. <laughs> Honestly, Ron, how can somebody be in two places at once? Ron's been seeing it all movie. He been tripping. Ron's been seeing this stuff all movie. He's gonna have to go to the psychiatric ward after this. I saw you coming. He got the map. This time tomorrow, the owls will start arriving and parents will not want a... Um... A wolf around their children. Someone like me teaching their children. Yeah, yeah. People like me are, um, well, let's just say that I'm used to it by now. Well, at least you got spells to help you do all your packing. You don't got to lug it all by hand. Regular mud blood's got to do that. None of it made any difference. Pedigree escaped. 
didn't make any difference. Harry, it made all the difference in the world. You helped uncover the truth. You saved an innocent man from a terrible fate. Yeah. If I am proud of anything, it is of how much you have learned this year. Now, since I am no longer your teacher, I feel no guilt whatsoever about giving this back to you. Mmm. So now I'll say goodbye, Harry. I feel sure we'll meet again sometime. Until then, mischief managed. That's a hell of a piece of paper. I need one of those so I can know where everybody in the world walking around at. Give me one of them. It's a fireball. It's the fastest brew in the world. Whoa. Who sent it? No one knows. This came with it. They're going out. He going out to try that thing. He going out to try that thing. I don't, what the Nimbus ain't. I got the 1500. <laughs> Oh my, this ain't, let me put this down. This don't take off like that. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. <laughs> hey, that was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. Harry, go get your head checked, man. You done passed out three, four times this movie. It's got to be something going on up top. <laughs> he couldn't. He can't catch a break. Harry Potter can't catch a break. He's lucky to have a friend like Hermione that does the dirty work. Punch Malfoy. Harry, you should have been knocked Malfoy out. It, Malfoy's a punk. I'm sorry, guy. He talk all this crap. As soon as somebody tests him or show them that they got balls, Malfoy punks out. Hermione walk up on him with the th hey. We not here to play. He <laughs> scary little dude. That's why Buck beat beat him up. <laughs> Good job, Buck beat. What could be next, y'all? What else can Harry Potter flip this into? Harry Potter had a hell of a life, man. <laughs> I can imagine only when he get, you know, about 50 or 60 or something, he can look back and say, yeah, I remember I was, uh, I remember I was 13 and uh, this one uh, demon guy came to me on a train and tried to suck my soul out. I had to ex flippy out and forgot the dang on spell. <laughs> hey, y'all. What's, what's what's next? What can happen next in the next Harry Potter? Until next time. <laughs>